what's the deal? Somebody got Chai Global tied up. All right, um, people have been asking me about Chai Global. AIX, once again, showing that he cares. He has done uh, two videos on a missing member of the family or member of the YouTube family. Now, Chai Global, whatever the problem is, man, you need to call me. Um, you've given me these encrypted messages that sound like, you know, there's no tomorrow. I'm not always the same person when I come back, but I'm always the same person. See what I'm saying? Life itself is a riddle. Once you decide for your part in this riddle, life is a lot easier. No matter how dark it gets, no how gloomy it gets, no matter how bad it is, no matter how shitty it is, no matter how far up against the wall it is. Once you give up, why should anybody else care? People did show uh, their um, concern on text. Others more recently have uh, tried to expose the so-called real reasons. But let's actually track this person down and find out uh, the real reason or reasons maybe for going missing from YouTube back in December of 09 yeah yeah uh, before I answer your question actually um, I did call the uh, AIX um, a couple of weeks later after that and we had a multiple uh, multi-hour conversation you know um, I think it was six hours or something stupid um, and it started snowing as well by the time um, morning broke um, back in December so it's um, 2 in the morning until 6 um, something stupid like that or 11 until 6 or so. as for reasons um, I did tell him but I didn't really like elaborate um, I just said I wanted to quit um, for the sake of it and yeah, you got the option so why not use it but I suppose uh, if it comes down to it um, really um, it was kind of disillusionment but it was what I explained as well when I did come back with my many um, other accounts that it was mo mainly to do because I was being absorbed away from reality uh, into YouTube more and more so I was being isolated so I thought why not use that power and actually then actively all of it because I can't do two things at once or split my power and my uh, effort uh, I have to focus it on one thing so very rarely I can do that you know here and there but I uh, yeah, focus that effort direct it at reality, at real life, and uh, see what happens. And it has been quite productive, actually. Um, uh, and even if you get the sort of negative, uh, the negativity back, uh, the, the, the bounce back, on in real life, at least it's real, at least it's there, and you can deal with it and confront it. It's not behind the keyboard, it's not behind uh, the screen of somebody who's uh, faceless sometimes as well. So yeah, it was quite um, a sort of turnaround, but it was mainly a selfish act, really, uh, just a disillusionment and a just thought. I didn't expect it to take a turn for the part that it was a missing person, you know, look for him, it's this big controversy. Okay, but what about those uh, who actually uh, think that you are the one who uh, created controversy uh, to begin with, and that was your reason uh, for fleeing YouTube uh, in the first place uh, and the Chai Global? Please explain. I created controversy, that's why I quit. No, 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 I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, so when I, when I did come back, uh, supposedly... Uh, things that, that are the style I was doing this is what I was saying about negativity the style I was doing I was breeding some kind of negative uh, opinions about me and um, when I was in under Chai Global so when I did come back uh, this thing just blow, uh, blew out like Yellowstone and I thought I can't handle this or, or not can't handle it because that would be playing to them but I don't want to handle it to begin with so second time round you actually forgot uh, to cover it up you forgot to uh, bring gloves uh, to be able to handle the heat is that right? I didn't bring gloves so it's too hot, so I can't handle it. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I just thought I don't want to handle the stupidity. All right, I'll use the word. I'll turn it around. I can't handle the stupidity of why didn't you actually confront me when I was on Chai Global for the alleged offences I was doing uh, or committing. So that's why I did come back and then I sort of said, no more new ideas for you. So, okay, fine. You can't do it anyway. So go to jail. Go back to YouTube jail, as I was supposed to in the first place. And I've got my ideas there uh, to be left on until maybe YouTube disappears or 
uh, YT jail gets uh, broken into. So there was no controversy to begin with. It was and, he, and the person knows who raised this. I don't know why they actually blew Yellowstone Park up, uh, the virtual Yellowstone. I don't know why they did that uh, because it's right there to this day. Probably uh, that message that um, the side effects of vlogging actually you know, make you withdraw from YouTube, etc. Yeah, AIX did get messages from me, personal messages, but it was mainly. Uh, talking about utilizing or using U uh, YouTube jail to do the final big push and big expose, real expose, not fake things on me, but that's why it kind of bounced back. So it was supposed to be on this person who abuses animals, and I saw the video, and he's also, um, I don't want to actually mention too much, but from what I've seen, he does abuse animals. Uh, okay, so it's kind of a deviant person, and he's a partner on YouTube. So it's this kind of common thing with YouTube of having oddballs being uh, partners so yeah um, that was kind of the main thing let's expose this guy let's do what YouTube was meant for put the text put you know and those are news articles who so will put the link to on the pages of those who subscribe to him his fans etc and that will probably get YouTube jail put in jail and that's what I was kind of mentioning you know virtually but then it ended up backfiring complete reflection I ended up you know with the jailer himself being jailed in, in his own jail uh, for reasons I do not know what, but uh, it's out there, and um, you know, um, supposedly you know, reality and 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 and, um, and virtual reality has sort of overlapped and become this one giant real reality, you know, with capital R's. So yeah, that's kind of the nature of uh, the coded messages or the encrypted messages. They weren't really encrypted at all, really. They were just kind of very straightforward, very desperate. It wasn't about end of the world. It wasn't about anything. It was the end of the year, that's all it was. It was the end of the year, uh, and then everything came to a standstill. So, really, it was nearly the end of the world, at least in the United Kingdom. When snow fell, the country shut down for a week and a half, or a month and a half, or whatever. So, yeah, so it was all kind of um, strange, really. Uh, yeah, 2009, very eventful year.